Player profile time once again with another member of that talented junior class of McDonald High School. Ladies and gentlemen, when we're talking halfbacks, you can't talk about anybody more than you talk about this young man right here. Number 11, Casey Miller. What's up, Case? How are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great now that you're here. Uh, this is a huge week in McDonald, and obviously you guys have continued to have huge weeks because you just keep on winning. Power rankings prove that. Yeah. For you, looking at, at what this it, this week is going in, you already said, I'm not really nervous. I'm more excited. Why is that, uh, you know, from your perspective? And uh, and kind of lay it all out for us. Yeah, I mean, uh, we already started off 2-0, two road games, two wins. I think we get back home, good team. If we beat them, I mean, we'll be looking good, I think. Sky's the limit, obviously. You, you, you start the season 3-0, and that's a good way to go. Yeah. Uh, and especially heading into the, the meat of your conference schedule in the MVAC, for you to be coming home uh, the first time this year, what does it mean to you? What are you looking uh, forward to most? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see all the fans that really, I mean, they've been showing out even at our road games already, but I can't wait to see what it's going to be at home. There are going to be so many people there. It's going to be so exciting. We talked to Gianni about why this season's so special. You guys have, have – it hasn't been struggling seasons. I hate to put it like that. But it hasn't been up to that McDonald's standard uh, of, you know, a 10-game season. For you, why does this year feel different, and why should everybody believe in the Blue Devils? Yeah, I mean, we're such a close-knit group. I mean, we're all friends. We all have good relationships with each other. I don't think we've had that in the past. That's what makes it feel different, I think, really. A couple of touchdowns already this season for you out of the backfield. When you got KP in front of you, you got Drew, yourself included, you got a lot of weaponry around that that locker room. What makes this tandem? I mean, when we're talking about you running back, uh, Drew Zajac running back, and then Kyle can get it done with his leg, why are you guys so athletic? What's in the water out there in McDonald? Yeah, I mean, Coach Williams does a great job uh, with our play designs. Even our, you know, we just switched back to the wing tee. I think he does a great job mixing it up. And, you know, we all just trust each other, which makes everything flow together nicely, I think. We just talked to, to KP about the wing tee, and he was like, yeah, there's a lot of people that thought it was all going to be a, a running offense all the time, and yeah. then you guys are out slinging it. When you heard the wing tee was coming back, you had to be salivating as a running back, thinking that you're going to get the ball 30, 40 times a night. Yeah. I mean, what, was it, what was it about that? I mean, last year we were, we were mostly in the spread. I was a slot receiver. I was kind of hesitant, you know, being that we were going to the wing tee this year, but it's been really great. I mean, we can mix it up. We got weapons on the outside too, and KP's a great thrower. So, yeah, it's been great. Coach comes to you and says, hey, we're putting you in the backfield. You're not a slot anymore. I mean, was that something that you were accustomed to? Is that something you had to learn? Were there nerves there? Or is it something you were like, all right, let's go? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm a football player. I'll, I'll play wherever Coach wants me to. I was really excited about it, uh, being that, like, I kind of wanted to run the ball rather than being just a receiver. So I embrace it, really. So the, right now, your background is your game room. You, you told me that it's your basically your second room. Uh, yeah. Most kids only have one room, and that's all. I mean, so when your parents say, hey, you know, you did something bad, go to your room. What, I'm, I'm guessing you go to that room, right, with all the games and stuff? Yeah, I'd probably go to this room. It's, it's really nice up here. <laughs> what are some of the things, the features of, of your second room that uh, most people be jealous about? Uh, I got LED lights up here, uh, my gaming console, obviously, and then I got a computer. So you're a gamer? Uh, sometimes I was more in the past, but now with football, I don't have as as much time as I used to. So, what's the go-to game right now? If you're getting on the sticks, what are you playing? Uh, probably NCAA. I like that game. Who's the team? Ohio State. I'm a Ohio State fan. Oh, you cheater! You're a cheater. Like you can't, like you can't go online and just be Ohio State all the time, can you? I, I like to use my guys. I like Judkins. I like uh, all my guys though. So I can appreciate I that. Awesome. All right. It, it, have you played the anybody in the locker room on on the sticks yet? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I played I played the guys. Yeah. Where do you rank? I'm probably top two. I'm not two though. <laughs> All right. All right. So who is who's the other half of the top two? Who is perhaps number two? Uh, I would say Amari, our center. He's pretty good. Landon too. I know they both play a lot. So. Okay then. Obviously, we got to ask this question. Who's the worst gamer in that locker room? Sorry, KP. Oh, no! <laughs> I, have, I haven't played him 
since, since like the first week it came out. So he might have gotten better. I don't know. Does he? I'm just gonna guess. As a quarterback, he's probably slinging the ball all the time. There's no yeah, runs. He, yeah, he throw. He don't. Run. I don't run the ball either. I like to have fun. Just four verts yeah. every play. Four yeah. verts. No, no punting, right? No, I don't ever pun. No. I love it. Um, who are some of the people that have put you in this position, man? Who are your heroes? Um, I would say my dad. Definitely my dad. I mean, he's been with me since since I transferred from Austin Town, and my coaches really. So when you when you think of your dad, what's one big trait that, that you really appreciate about, appreciate about him and hope that that uh, is is built in you as well? Uh, I'd definitely say uh, work ethic. He works really hard. I mean, we just got a pool. He's out outside shoveling rocks. That's something I really like about him. Wait, wait. He's shoveling rocks and you're taking interviews and playing video games right now. Yeah, that's right. That's it. Must be nice to be the son, right? It, mu- <laughs> it must be nice to be the son. Yeah. What's uh what legacy? I mean, if you can think, obviously, when you, when you you leave McDonald after next year, what legacy do you hope to leave behind? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of good McDonald teams the past ten ish years. I mean, they they went ten and zero uh, with Josh Ellie and them. I think if we could put together a a good season, and uh, definitely my biggest goal is to win the league championship. I think if we could do that, we could have a good legacy. Talk about your coaches. Real quick, I know that they're they're, they're influencers. They are great coaches. Uh, they mm-hmm. care about everybody on that team. Why is that so important to you? Yeah, I mean, I think they they really just trust us as players. I mean, I played last year as a sophomore both ways, and then for them to put me out there and having trust in me it just makes everything a lot easier. I would say. Can you see yourself playing on Saturdays and being part of that uh, college football? What would be two K twenty seven? I mean, yeah, that's something I've thought about a little bit, but I'm I'm really just trying to uh, have fun right now, and if that takes me there, then that's that's where I am, I guess. Is there anything that you want to study in particular? Uh, probably exercise science. That's something I really like, like athletics and lifting. I think, yeah, that works. All right, buddy. Hey, I appreciate the time, Casey Miller. Uh, so grateful for you guys, and and good luck this week. I know it's a big one for you. Uh, and if you need anything, obviously we're always here for you, man. Thank you so Thank much. You. Appreciate you.